Yo, what's up, War Eagle, everybody? We are in here. First, watch the film of the season. It is Auburn versus Alabama A&M. Let's get straight to it. start this off with Auburn's first possession here from the 30 yard line uh, in a four wide set but 11 personnel right so we got single setback which is Jarquez Hunter this is Rivaldo Fairweather split out here uh, Keandre Lambert Smith right here uh, to the other side you've got Cam Coleman and Malcolm Simmons uh, so a two by two set but again 11 personnel because you have the one back with the one um tight end right there so three receiver set let's get straight to we'll show the play then we'll go out this play is number one coach freeze talked about this in the press conference today if you guys saw it it's up on the channel this is specifically designed to get malcolm simmons the ball right they wanted to go ahead and get him out in space but you get the good downfield blocks right here right so we're gonna go with this what looks like we're going to be getting a run action this direction all to try to get the defense right linebackers everybody flowing this way they're playing this super off coverage right here right nobody's actually covering up the slot right we got a linebacker that's in here but the safety is who's covering up the slot so whether they're in zone or they are in man right if they're in man malcolm simmons man is way back here doesn't really matter zone or man. The look is is right here for how they're playing this coverage. If they're in zone, right, then the guys that would be responsible for the flat, you've got them accounted for with a block right here. So we're just going to get him out in space. They don't readjust, so it shows zone right here. Going to dump it off right here underneath the Simmons. And then we get good downfield blocking here. Rivaldo Fairweather doing a good job. This is something he struggled with last season, blocking downfield. Keandre Lambert-Smith going to get in here. He's going to get a good seal block right there. And then Malcolm Simmons is able to get upfield and get the first down. It's a good start of the drive just to get your offense in motion, get them a good first down, good downfield block. And again, this is how you make big plays in any game is how well you block at the second level. First level blocking is what's going to get you a positive yard. And second level blocks is how you make big plays, right? So, this block right here by Fairweather is something you did not see often last year. Him actually controlling a guy out here on the perimeter. Now he's got a distinct physical advantage out here. Go put your hands on somebody and move them out of the way. So good job right there. And then again, Malcolm Simmons in the open field, just using speed to be able to go pick up the yardage right there. So good job. And then we're going tempo, right? So you notice that we're getting right down here. We're getting setting the ball. 31 seconds on the play clock. And we're getting straight back into it with the same set, same formation. We still got Fairweather split out here, this time to the field side, right? So this is um, the the boundary. So boundary versus field for those of you who are not. The, the boundary is the side that's the short side of the field. The field side is the, the longer side of the field. We're on the right hash mark. So we got... Uh, Malcolm Simmons, and it looks like Cam out here to the field this time. Again, then we've got kind of a short set, but still in the slot right here with Rivaldo Fairweather, still in our 11 personnel, so we can go um, we can go quickly and, and, and really just get to the ball and snap it, right? So 28 seconds, we're going to look at it. They snapped the ball with 26 seconds left on the clock. This is a good zone beater right here to get the additional 15 yards as well on here but we just get uh lambert smith going and sitting down in the zone right so you're going to come here and you're going to get the sit down right here in the zone the clearing route here from uh fairweather and this is the side that he's looking to so we i think uh, I, I didn't look at the top co top concepts of what they got going on to the top but i think it's mere actually no they got rpo slants going the opposite direction right so we're running twin slants in here and then we're running a clearing in a zone sit right here. 
we get the outlet pass right here. So how Peyton Thorne is going to be reading this, you see him read it high to low, right? He looks to see what, how are they reacting right here to Fairweather. Patience right here to the pass off, right? So you know, basically he's reading this guy right here. Is he dropping underneath Fairweather? Is he flying out here to be a flat defender? How are they handling the flat so that he can determine which of these three things that he's going to do? Is he going to hit Fairweather on the deep or is he going to come under here on the curl? Or if this guy sits right here underneath on this uh, curl, he's going to go to his flat, right? So, boom, he's going to read it. We don't have Fairweather. He's fl he's flying out here to the flat. We're just going to throw right in behind him in the zone and you get the additional face mask penalty on top of that. So this is this is what you this is high level. Well, not high level, but this is the kind of quarterbacking you want to see from a fifth year senior at quarterback. Right. All right. They're, they're going to go and they're going to drop into kind of like a like a cover three shell. Right. They show cover two at the at the snap, but they go into a cover three shell. Um, he could have maybe taken some sort of, actually, I thought this was a fly route. This is actually kind of a, a deep out that Fairweather's running right here. So this is not going to be available immediately with that deep third right there. So he's going to be reading hook to flat, right? So you got your hook curl defender and then you're going to be reading the flat. He's going to throw right in behind that with the hook. And then a good job right there of Keandre Lambert Smith also reading the same thing, right? So, this is an important thing. When you talk about missed assignments or misreads from wide receivers, Keandre Lambert-Smith and Peyton Thorne have to be on the same page of what they're doing right here. How do I want to run this route? All right? Am I going to sit this route down right here? Am I going to come back? Or am I going to just kind of drift here into the zone because I know they're playing zone? All right. So off top, we see this off coverage right here. It's showing zone off the top, right? Like we're, we're showing zone off the top. I'm just going to read that zone, sit down, right? He sits this down right in here inside of this zone defender. And when he clears, the ball is already delivered. This is good timing as well, right? Like this is another important thing. As soon as he sees this defender clear, ball's in the air. No time for this additional guy to try to come in here and make a play on this. Timing is everything on this as well. This is a great job by Peyton Thorne and Keandre Lambert-Smith reading the defense, seeing the same thing, going ahead, making the throw out there. And again, you get the additional 15 yards on top of that. Excellent job by all of them. All right, here we're still now we're going to motion the running back out. We're going to go into empty here. So we're still in our 11 personnel, still running tempo, 24 seconds left on the clock. But now we're in a five wide presentation. So this is something that Coach Freeze talked about as well. We're going to try to give defenses different looks. We're not just going to go in here. And we're going to line up in 21 or uh, excuse me, in 12 and and give you the H back set with a you know shotgun look. Nope, we're going to go into you know, we're going to go pistol. We're going to go uh, 11 with a, a two by two. This time we're going three by two with a five man presented, right? Like we're going to give you different looks offensively of how you need to figure out how to approach defending us so that you don't really have a solid way like, OK, how do we game plan for this now? Because they can give us a bunch of different stuff. So let's just kind of look and see what they have. All right, so looks as if Cam Colbin is running the deep stop route. We're going to be running this post route right here. I think we've got a deep over route coming over here to the bottom. We got Jarquez Hunter running the stop route. I don't know what the route is over here. Um, so actually, we've got the deep post and a skinny post running up underneath it with a stop route here. I'm going to assume this is some sort of, uh, un, excuse me, undo that, some sort of deep corner maybe getting run here with a stop route underneath it. So all five actually active in here. This is another thing I said I wanted to see from Peyton Thorne this year. 
is he doing full field reads, right? How early are we doing full field reads? Notice his eyes initially. Now, he, I think he knows that he wants to come to this post route, which let's start with the route by um, – with Malcolm Simmons before we get in. Well, actually, let's look at Peyton Thorne first. Peyton Thorne's eyes initially, I think he's trying to get this guy to, to vacate here. But look where his eyes are. He's looking to this side of the field, using his eyes to try to manipulate this deep safety so he can come back and hit this post, right? Boom, then get my eyes back here. It's open. Now, this is a little late, right? Like, he needs to go ahead and let this rip right here. He, he throws this a little late, a little inside, he has this. This is a touchdown. Honestly, this is probably this is this is one of the first throws. Where I was like, ah, this isn't very good. If he throws this to the middle of the field earlier, right? This should be out of his hand right now. That's a touchdown, right? If he throws this over here towards the middle of the field, that's a touchdown. But that's behind him, and it's a little late. So it's a nitpick, but it's the reality of it, right? But he does everything right initially. We're gonna look him off. We're going to draw this deep safety to kind of drift in this direction. Then, boom, I'm going to come back. And it's as soon as this guy clears here, this is a touchdown, right? Like if he just goes ahead and lets this rip right here up the seam, that's a touchdown. He's late on that throw, unfortunately. Gets behind him, and it gets batted down. But let's. the other part of this is I want to look at the route by Malcolm Simmons, right? What he does a good job of here is wide receivers closing the distance, get up on the guy, right? So this is the guy who he has to threaten with his route. He's going to run this route directly at him before he breaks it inside to give a wider opportunity for this route to be completed, right? Boom, we're going to get out here. I'm not running straight up the field. I'm running directly at this guy to widen him out. And then I'm going to break it back to the inside. Boom. Does a good job. Look at the space he's created there by the speed. He has to respect the speed. Again, he throws this earlier, deeper. This is this is a touchdown. So you see Simmons has to actually slow down and come back for this. He throws this out here in the middle of the field. That's a touchdown. But. Not, I like everything else, though. I like everything else about the eye manipulation that you get from Peyton Thorne. I like the route by Simmons. I like the concept that they draw up here to try to get another shot play called early in this game. Um, you just got to get a little bit better throw out there from Peyton Thorne, and you have a touchdown right there on play number three. All right. We're going to get into a more traditional presentation here from what you have been seeing from Auburn last year. So that means that we've got the the – Tight end, still in our 11 personnel, one running back, one tight end, but he's in here as an H-back inset. Shotgun snap here or shotgun presentation from quarterback and running back. Uh, two by three set, so we got two here to the top three here. Still the same personnel out here, it looks like. Offensive line to hold up, but let's take a look at the run blocking here on the touchdown. Again, I said... Uh, positive plays happen because of the line of scrimmage or first level blocking. Big plays happen because you have blocking at the second level and down the field. So let's take a look at the front level blocking, right? So what we're going to get is just a, it's just like a standard zone, like no pulls, no anything. Again, point of contact here, something you didn't see a lot from Rivaldo Fairweather last year. Great, great block here at the point of contact. Uh, we're going to get what looks like a double team and climb here from Connor. Actually, good grief, man. They just bullied the crap out of this dude. It's a good, this is a good read also of the cutback lane here. So we, we're going to actually double here. And then Jarquez Hunter is just going to get in right behind. And then once that double team climbs up here to the linebacker, he's going to find this lane and kind of just navigate through here. And then, Keandre Lambert Smith at the next level. He actually didn't even need to get a hand on him. He just ran past him. Good grief. Um, but yeah, look at the double team here from Jeremiah Wright and Connor Lou. That is a very nasty. <laughs> like, I don't know if two guys, you, you, if those are the two guys you want trying to block you because both of them are trying to pancake here. Look at this. Look at this. They, they, they pushed him into this DB here. That's crazy. That's absolutely nasty. 
Look at this. Line of scrimmage is the 34. Line of scrimmage is the 34. And this dude ends up on his back at the 23, we'll call it. That's like nine yards of get the heck out of my space, bro. That's so nasty, man. But this is the physicality you need to be able to play with. I want to see, and this isn't a little dude, right? Like they've got guys who are the size of D1 type threats, right? Like this isn't like, I, I, they might not have the, the same kind of technique, but size wise, these are big dudes. Like this is a get big dude that they are throwing out. I love the climbing of the pocket here from Peyton Thorne. We know the result is going to be a touchdown here. But what, what you love about this, the recognition, number one, from Malcolm Simmons, he's going to come in. He realizes that either they're playing a three-man zone over here and this guy's going to be occupied and he's going to have to widen out. So he brings his in a little bit closer here just in case if they're going to come read hot off of here and he's going to be running this drag, uh, that this guy's got a, even longer to go, but there's no deep help, right? There's no one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is the safety, right? So unless this safe, if this safety is rotating back, right? So Peyton Thorne knows, I, right, I don't, his first look is, this is what Coach Freeze talked about all last year, all offseason, is touchdown to check down type of look, right? I know I'm hitting my deep post here if this safety doesn't rotate back. So my first look is to see what is this safety doing? Safety stays shallow. We get the shallow drag across. All of this happening over here, has the safety's attention, climb the pocket. This is a beautiful pocket, by the way. They're only rushing four. Let me just take time to appreciate Dylan Wade right here, too. Watch Dylan Wade. I don't have anybody to block. This guy's not coming. Let me go find work. Let me go find somebody to block. All right, you look like you might be available. I'm going to just go hit you for no reason whatsoever. Plays well behind him, but you're not going to creep up behind the QB to get no extra hit on him. Let me just go clear you out real quick. Uh, I wish I had my – I should have had this available. I want to make sure I'm calling – oh, I do have it right here. Um, who is, I think this is Jeremiah Wright right here at the right guard. Look at him doing a good job in his pass set. We're going to clear this out. Left tackle up here is Tyler Johnson. Doing a good job here. Climbs up in the pocket. Let's go. We know that's going to be a TD up top. But that's just good. This is good recognition again by Peyton Thorne of we've got the rotation here of the safety. Now, again, it's touchdown to check down. If the safety drops back deep, then Malcolm Simmons does exactly what he's supposed to do. Sits this route down underneath. If the safety had taken that away, he's just going to come. He's going to throw it right here to Malcolm Simmons. Let him get busy in the open field. It's open for him. He also has an outlet over here to Cam Coleman, who's just kind of drifting. They This is a shot play call, though. They say call this shot. I wish I had a better angle of the route here by Lambert Smith. Um, but you can barely see it, right? But So watch him. He's running here. He's going to flatten this out right about the 40 and get vertical and then press inside again. So he's going to get... So remember I said about what happened with uh, Malcolm Simmons before. Go step on his toes, close the distance. Once you do, then get vertical, 
and that gives you more room to push this out here. And that's exactly what happens. So that was terrible. All right. Um, they had an absolutely awful cut on this, so I had to get it from the opposite angle on the replay, but the opposite angle gives you more of a of a, a field view of what happens on this double move. But uh, let's try to take a look at what happens here. So again, because of the crazy cut, uh, I don't get everything pre-snap here, but uh, you've got what looks like two by one here and this is the double move so at the snap they're they're in a um what i i'm assuming is going to be a, a cover three and there's no safety help over the top here right and they're given this really huge cushion to basically say all right we'll give up the easy throw right we're gonna give up the quick one and so cam says i'll run what looks like it's about to be the comeback route here and the minute the like this is so this is so absolutely filthy like what look at him drop his hips boom he drops his hips to make it look like he's about to drive back and the minute the safety commits to that he gets back out of it safety's done right here like honestly Peyton Thorne could have let this go right there he doesn't I mean it's like a half a second late but he throws this out here before Cam clears him that's so that is so absolutely filthy dog so absolutely filthy drop my hips get out of it good grief I could watch that a million times on replay. All right. Ball back here. In our 11 personnel grouping once again. So three receivers set. Motion out of pistol into shotgun. This is where the hurdle comes in, right? No, it's Peyton Thorne. This is honestly all Peyton Thorne here. Like there was nothing. So does he make the right read here is the question you have to ask initially. He looks like he's reading this right, this guy right here on the end of the line of scrimmage. He looks like he's pinching down. We're going to go get it and take off. He thought he could get to the outside. This guy actually does a really good job of getting out here at a good pursuit angle. Thorne just puts the brakes on and gets back underneath it. And then quicker again, Peyton Thorne is quicker than you think he is. He's one of those guys where it's like, oh, man, like the quickness to put a foot in the ground and then getting back upfield. Now, it took him a lot. Like, Look how many steps it took for him to plant. One, two, three, four. Uh, but when he gets upfield, he's nine yards down the field quickly. So this is this is good athleticism from your quarterback here. This is a run play all the way, right? Like look at the downfield situation from the wide receivers. The only person in him, so he's not even supposed to be. But this is a run play called. This is a called run. This is not an RPO. This is a read option. It's a good job from Isaiah Miller to kind of give him the the cutback lane right there. Fairweather's there to kind of run some interference. He doesn't really block anybody, but he's in a way enough. So it's a good job on all counts by Peyton Thorne just getting upfield and getting some positive yardage on that. Simmons' only job there was to clear out, right? He's going to go run. He's basically running a clearing route. But you see Keandre Lambert-Smith is sitting here to block. Everybody's blocking up here on the front side of this play. This is a another there. This is an RPO because they have the um, the backside slant here. But linebacker is sinking here into the backside of that. So we're not going to pull and try to do that situation there. Hand it off there. It's a good read by Peyton Thorne. And then on the front side of this, you get some good blocking here. Love the work by Connor Lou here. Watch him pull around. 
And then his job is to seal here, right? He's not a lead blocker. He's a seal block. So he's going to loop around here to get around to the front side and then seal. Boom, swing and seal. Anybody trying to pursue from this side, let me just block them off. So we get the pursuit right there. Boom, I'm going to hit him real quick. Good job. Second level block here from Jeremiah Wright. Doesn't do a great job of getting up on the guy, but enough that you get. Look at this man. Look at this man. This dude is. Look how far away he reads this. This is what, the 50 yard line? The DB is starting to try to make this tackle at the 45. Jacquez is like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. <laughs> he jumps from the 50 to the 48, bro. Now he takes off at the 48, excuse me, and lands on the 43. That boy jumped five yards in the air. And if it had not been for this other dude, he might have landed and kept running. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. Next play here, we're in empty, right? We're going to go empty. We motion Jarquez out here to the outside now. Again, 28 seconds left on the clock, so we're running tempo pocket. Good uh, read there by Peyton Thorne. Right, they tried to motion late into a two high. Right, they're gonna run this guy back into. Right, they're gonna have a cover two or a cover four. I don't know which one of these it is. Doesn't matter. And even so, I've talked about this a little bit. Right, so if you've got an even um, coverage over the top, whether that's cover two. Right, if you're saying this is a two. Uh, or if it's a cover six, right? It doesn't matter, right? When you've got two high safeties here in the middle, that means middle field is open. So anything that threatens here to the middle of the field, that's exactly where you want to go because these guys are in conflict, right? They've got to protect the deep halves, deep quarter, whatever it is. That means the middle of the field is going to be wide open. So Peyton Thorne sees that. He recognized it immediately. Now, this is a little late. It's a little late, right? Like this ball probably should be in the air already. If he throws this on a line in the air, he probably protects Malcolm Simmons a little bit more from this throw. But it's not super late because where he catches this, he's still got a couple of steps before he encounters a guy. He's just running so dang fast that he doesn't have time to reroute. And you get the target in here. But you would ideally want this ball to be like once you see we got the too high situation this ball should be out of his hand as soon as Simmons clears this linebacker just go ahead and throw this to this opening if you hit him early enough then this might be a touchdown I ain't gonna hold you this might be a touchdown if he throws this as soon as Simmons clears these linebackers he's catching the ball where he is right now and he might split these two guys upfield and go score with the speed he has. You want to throw that now. That needs to be. So um, we talked with Chris Todd about just kind of the mechanics of the drop. So he needs to go one, two, three, get to his back foot and throw it. But he takes that extra little shuffle. It's kind of, he's, this is, this is more lazy than it is late. Right. Like if he was if he's operating with some urgency and he goes one, two, three, get to my back foot, plant and throw. This is out on time. But this is he's throwing this like it's a seven on seven drill, not like it's live. Um, situations. Boom, boom, boom. Like, yeah, that's just kind of late. Like there's no urgency in that drop back. And then PT doesn't really have like a, a like a strong cannon of an arm. So he can't zip this out here. If he had a 
more live arm or if he was a little bit more urgent in getting to the back of his drop, then he saves his guy a big hit here. So at any rate, it's a good read. He just needs to a little more urgency. Pick your pace up a little bit as you're getting to that drop. After the penalty, we have first and goal. This is second and goal. I missed something on first down here. I don't know what I missed. Get to third and goal. There's no, I don't even really have anything to break down there. Something was not correct here. Okay. I love this play. I love this play right here because I love the recognition by Cam Coleman, right? This is your true freshman who comes here and they and he sees this. He sees, hey, the communication is I'm about to run this fade. So he's got to basically go pick here, right? He's got to come here. Cam Coleman's job on this play is to get here and interfere with this guy. I love the fact that... Watch Cam. Just, just watch Cam on the play. Watch him. He knew immediately they was done. He's just going to come in here and he's going to go sit like he's basically going to go pick. He's going to go get in the way and then he's going to turn like he's trying to make himself available to the quarterback. Puts his hands up. All the stuff that you need him to do to give you this wide open look. And he knew it immediately. He knew it immediately. He was like, yeah, I got y'all. <laughs> he knew it immediately. So this is good recognition by everybody on this play about what's about to happen. Love it. Let me give a quick shout out again. I get on him about it. I get on him about it last year a lot. Fair weather. Block here. Uh. Don't need to do much. Just give him a little time to get this joint off from the rush on the outside. Good job there by Fairweather doing what he needs to do. You're going to take a shot here. This is one of those things where Coach Freeze wants him to uh, coach wants him to call to recognize this and not take this additional hit so this is another thing where he got on him on the sideline he's like look man protect yourself properly i know it's there i know it's available and you can get the ball out but there's no need for you to take this hit tell jarquez hunter to if you see it coming go get your protection set so that you know when you're getting ready to make don't just call like don't just call the at the line of scrimmage don't just call the fade call the protection as well don't take that hit for no reason, because if this is a different game with a different speed of athlete out there, you get tattooed on that. Hit for no reason. He's like, hey, man, protect yourself. Don't don't have to do the call. Call the route and the protection. 